Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're doing an introduction to industrial power tools. Now this tool is a little different than what you're gonna find in your garage. It's got a controller here. This is a Power Focus 8 controller. It's cabled to this tool. This is a DC electric motor and a torque transducer that measures the torque. This is what we call a right angle tool. And this is a direct drive tool that it's gonna shut off based on the programming from this controller. So we're gonna tighten a couple of different bolts here, show you guys how to run the tool and what it means to look at the front of the screen and the information that's giving you in a really simple setup to try to help make parts better. All right, let's check it out. All right, so for this test, we're gonna do a really simple bolt into a threaded fixture. We're gonna give it a little bit of a hand start here. And now we're gonna get our power tool. So our power tool's got a trigger here. This tool is programmed through the controller to shut off at 40 Newton meters. So I'm just gonna engage the socket, I'm gonna pull the trigger and run this thing all the way down until the tool shuts itself off. And you're gonna see the torque pop up on the screen that we hit. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so we hit 40.15 Newton meters of torque popped up with a green light on the screen. We also got a green light on the tool. If I can't see the controller, this is gonna give me some feedback to know that I got an okay tightening. Another number popped up here. This is the tightening angle. This value is in degrees and it's measured from a start torque that we programmed in the controller. So in this case, a snug torque to our full 40 Newton meters of torque is the angle it turns. Now this number is really critical because it tells us about the quality and the consistency of our parts. And if you keep an eye on this, as you're running a big batch of production, hopefully that number is gonna be really consistent because when that number changes, it tells us that something might have changed in our parts. All right, so as our baseline, we got 51 degrees of angle. Let's take our long bolt out of the equation and put a thinner part with a shorter bolt and see what kind of angle it has for the same torque value. Let's check it out. All right, so there we got 27 degrees. So we got about half of the angle. The reason being is that this bolt is much shorter than the other one. There's less elastic stretch happening in the fastener. So if you were paying attention to the angle, you could actually notice that something changed with the parts that may not have been as visually noticeable as a long and short bolt, but you can have some influence on the quality by keeping an eye on the tightening angle. All right, so we saw how a short bolt, changing the length of the bolt affects the tightening angle. There's something else that can change the tightening angle is the friction in the joint. So let's say I were to drop this bolt and it were to land in some oil and I were to lubricate this accidentally and put the bolt back in the parts. This bolt is gonna behave differently than it was in a dry condition. Let's observe the tightening angle when we run it down in an oily condition. All right, there we got over 100 degrees of angle on this. So that means that the friction is lower in this joint and we're actually over tightening this joint. So I wanted to show you this video because I really want you to see just by observing the tightening angle, how much it affects both the quality of the joint and in terms of what kind of parts, what stack up of parts we have, but it also tells us about the consistency of the tightness, the consistency of the friction in our joint. Now there is gonna be some variation to this when you're running production parts. There's natural variation that happens, but if we keep an eye on the tightening angle, it's gonna tell us a lot about the consistency and the quality of our parts. All right, we'll see you next time.